In this lesson, we're going to focus on simplifying rational expressions. So let's start with our first example. 35 x to the fifth over 49 x squared. Go ahead and simplify this expression. We can reduce 35 and 49 by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. 49 divided by 7 is 7. Now, whenever you're dividing by a common base, you're allowed to subtract the exponents. 5 minus 2 is 3. So the final answer for this problem is 5x cubed divided by 7. Now, you can also see it this way. Let's start from the beginning. 35 is 7 times 5. x to the fifth is basically 5x variables multiplied to each other. 49 is 7 times 7, and x squared is just x times x. In this lesson, we're focusing on canceling and simplifying. We can cancel a 7, and we can cancel two x variables. So we have a 5 on top, 3x variables remaining, and a 7 on the bottom which is why this is the final answer. What about this example? 4x squared plus 8x divided by 3x plus 6. How can we simplify this expression? In this example, we need to factor out the GCF. The greatest common factor of the two terms on top is 4x. 4x squared divided by 4x is x. 8x divided by 4x is positive 2. Now, on the bottom, we could take out the GCF, which is 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, notice that we can cancel x plus 2. So, therefore, the final answer is 4x divided by 3. Here's another example. x squared minus 16 divided by x squared plus 9x plus 20. So what do you think we need to do in this problem? Your goal is to factor completely as possible and cancel. We know how to factor x squared minus 16 using the difference of squares technique. It's going to be x plus 4 and x minus 4. You just got to take the square root of x squared, which is x, and the square root of 16, which is 4. Now, in the example below, we have a trinomial with a lean coefficient of 1. To factor it, all we need to do is find two numbers that multiply to 20 but add to 9. This is clearly 4 and 5. So it's going to be x plus 4 times x plus 5. And we can clearly see that x plus 4 will cancel. So the final answer is x minus 4 divided by x plus 5. And that's how you could simplify rational expressions. But there's one more example I'm going to go over. You might see this in your homework. 5 minus x over x minus 5. These two look very similar, but they don't cancel immediately. Whenever you see a situation like this, factor out a negative 1. It could be from the top or the bottom. I'm going to take it from the top. If I take away negative 1 from negative x, it will change to positive x. And write the x first before you write the 5, so reverse the order. If I take out negative 1 from positive 5, it will change sign. It will become negative 5. So notice that we can cancel x minus 5 at this point. So the final answer for this is negative 1. Now, based on the examples that we've covered so far, Go ahead and work on these practice problems. Start with this one. Simplify the expression 72x to the 8, y to the 7, divided by 64x to the 5th, y to the 4th. For each of these, feel free to pause the video and work on it. 72 is basically 8 times 9. x to the 8 is x to the 5 times x to the 3, because 5 plus 3 is 8 y to the 7 is y to the 4th times y to the 3. 64 is 8 times 8. Now, we could cancel an 8. We could cancel x to the 5th. And we could cancel y to the 4th. 
So the final answer is what we have left over. On top, we have a 9x cubed y to the third. And on the bottom, we just have an 8. So that's the answer for that problem. Now let's move on to the next example. So try this one. 5x squared minus 15x divided by 8x minus 24. Go ahead and simplify the rational expression. So in the denominator, we can take out the GCF, the greatest common factor, which is 8. 8x divided by 8 is x. Negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. In the numerator, we can take out a 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x is x. And negative 15x divided by 5x is negative 3. So we could cancel the common term x minus 3. So the final answer is 5x divided by 8. So that's it for this problem. Here's another one. 42 minus 6x divided by 3x minus 21. So once again, let's take out the greatest common factor. In a numerator, we can take out a 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Negative 6x divided by 6 is negative x. In a denominator, we can take out a 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. Negative 21 divided by 3 is negative 7. And notice that we have this situation. So we need to factor out a negative 1. Let's take out a negative 1 from 7 minus x and reverse the letters or numbers and letters. So negative x becomes positive x if we do so. And positive 7 will change into negative 7. And now, at this point, we could cancel x minus 7. And so we're left with negative 6 divided by 3, which we know it's a negative 2. And that is the answer for this one. Try this problem. x squared minus 8x plus 15 divided by 2x squared minus 18. So let's factor the trinomial which has a leading coefficient of 1. So what two numbers multiply to 15 but add to the middle coefficient, negative 8? We know that 5 times 3 multiplies to 15, but adds up to positive 8. So we need to make it negative 5 and negative 3, because they still multiply to positive 15, but this time they add up to negative 8. So it's going to be x minus 5 times x minus 3. Now what about the bottom? What should we do? It looks like a difference of squares situation, but the square root of 18, that's not going to be a nice integer. However, we can take out the GCF, which is 2. 2x two squared divided by 2 is x squared, and negative 18 divided by 2 is negative 9. Now, we can use the difference of squares technique. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 9 is 3. One is going to be positive and the other will be negative. So therefore, the final answer is x minus 5 divided by 2 times x plus 3. And so that's it. Here's another one that you could try. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 divided by 4x squared minus 1. Go ahead and take a minute and work on that. So how can we factor 2x squared minus 5x minus 3? This time, we have a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1. So we need to multiply 2 by negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And we need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 but add to negative 5. So that's going to be negative 6 and positive 1. So now replace negative 5x with negative 6x plus 1x. As you can see, that's a terrible 3. Let's do that again. These two add up to negative 5x. Now we need to factor by grouping. So in the first two terms, take out the GCF, which is going to be 2x. And so we're going to be left with x minus 3. And for the last two terms, if there's nothing to take out, take out a 1. So we're going to get x minus 3 again. Now let's factor out x minus 3 since we have a common term. 
and then we're going to get 2x plus 1. And so that's how you can factor the numerator. Now to factor the denominator, we have the difference of perfect squares situation. The square root of 4x squared is 2x, and the square root of 1 is 1. And so it's just going to be plus or minus, which means we can cancel 2x plus 1. So the final answer is x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 1. So now you know how to simplify rational expressions. Factor, take out the GCF, and cancel. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching.